Hi everyone, it's Grandma Jackie. I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. Um, I worked the night shift last night. I just got off of work, so I'm gonna show you guys a few things and unwind. <laughs> so, first of all, this is crooked. I just noticed that, but it says crooked. Anyways, um, I picked up another bottle of this. This is really good um, if you put it in your refrigerator and then just pour you some drinks out of it. Um, I like it. It doesn't leave any aftertaste like some waters do, so. <laughs> Speaking of water, um, I did pick up a six pack of the Nestle Pure Life. I, it's. I mean, if you went to Walmart, you could probably get it for cheaper and a whole lot more, but we was at the Dollar Tree, and I don't like going to Walmart, so I just picked up one. Four now. My husband picked up this Fago root beer. He's already got into it for work. Um, he takes himself a big cup. And like I said, I would like for him to drink stuff besides for soda, and he does. He gets these other kinds of drinks and tries them out, so I think he is trying to slack up a little bit on the soda. Here's another one. <laughs> I'm just giving him a hard time. <sighs> Love him. He picked up another thing of bacon and cheddar potato skins. I don't think that he's seen my haul the other day where I picked up another two. But that's okay because we'll eat it. He really likes it and so do I. So, um, When I was reorganizing my pantry the other day, um, I had to get rid of some stuff that was expired. And one of the things that was expired was my pancake mix. So... I just picked up a box of pancake mix. We don't eat it very often. It's just myself and my husband. So this is the kind that you just add water and that's the kind I like. Just make it simple and easy. I did pick up some of this um, Agave syrup. It's a low glycemic sweetener. I was reading, well that book that I showed the other day in a haul. I'm sorry I didn't mean to beat the table. But it's called um, skinny bitch book anyways um, it was talking about this and how this could replace um, sugar and it was much better for you so as I'm reading into the book I'm like you know I'm, I'm gonna get it just to try it don't know what it's going to taste like but it says made with only the best agave nectar from Mexico. Huh. We'll see. <laughs> I did pick up this. This is like my favorite tea from the Dollar Tree. Um, the Arizona green tea with ginseng and honey. There are 10 sticks of this in here and they're they're sugar free but they're five calories each. I picked up four of them. One's already open because I took some last night to work. And it was really good. I loved it. My husband picked up um, some Arizona pomegranate flavor green tea mix. This has 10 calories in it. Um, I don't know. I like pomegranate, but sometimes. So, I don't know. But hey, whatever gets him to drink some more water. I did go ahead and pick up another thing of the Longhorn Steakhouse Grill Seasoning. Um, this is good. And you don't know how long they're going to have it. So, for a dollar, you can't really beat it. You try to get seasonings at other places and they're ridiculous. I also picked up some Hawaiian dinner rolls from Nature's Grain and there's six rolls in here for a dollar and I heard that they taste just like the what's 
the name of it. The other Hawaiian rolls that are really popular that the name has flown out of my brain right now. Um, anyways, we're going to give it a try. And six is like almost perfect because we can't get a big package. Otherwise, we have to split it up and freeze it. And then once you freeze it, it gets hard and crusty and yeah, nah. Um, we found tomato soup 30% bigger. That's a pretty good price. Just a dollar for tomato soup. That's a really good price. My husband's like, tomato soup is really good with grilled cheese. And I was like, yes. Wouldn't it be awesome if I could find those um, tomato, what do you call it, goldfishes? That would be good. Or it might be too much tomato. Maybe I can get the carrot goldfishes. I don't know. Anyways, my husband picked this up. It is Funnels. And his intentions, I think, is going to go to the garage. Or the car. Something to do with that. Gosh, I think I got bit last night at work. I picked up two of these glasses. I have an idea in my head that I'm going to go through my kitchen cabinets sometime this week and purge. And so I wanted to probably replace a few glasses. So I went ahead and bought a few before I got rid of a few. That doesn't even make sense. But that's how my brain was working. I was like, oh, those are nice big glasses. We'll see how many I get rid of. I went ahead and picked up this Clorox uh, Fragancia hand soap. That smelled pretty good. There was another one that was lavender, but I didn't like the smell of that. The only time I really like to smell lavender is like when I'm going to sleep. I think that's Lavender's intention, is to relax. I found these. So I got four of them. You don't see them very often, and whenever you do see them, you need to pick them up. Because even if, I mean, you just throw one in with your wash, you wouldn't believe the color it catches. My husband picked up another thing of parchment paper. Um, I guess this is the paper that he needed for his whole cricket thing that he does. I don't know. He said that was the right kind, so he went, and went ahead and picked up another one. So It's awesome that you can get it for a dollar. I picked up this set. There's a two-pack of washcloths. It's 100% cotton. Um, not sure how well it'll hold up, but it should do okay. But I picked up this one. It's kind of a, a light green in color, and it says so fresh and so clean. I need to replace a few washcloths too. So while I'm purging, <laughs> this one says, You are the bubbles to my bath. And it's in a gray color. And it is on each washcloth. So, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, husband picked up um, 29 Glad Sandwich Zipper Bags. It says 30% more. There's usually 22 in here. But he went ahead and picked one of those up. I'm sure it's for lunches. I picked up, because I am purging and getting rid of stuff, these Glad Large Trash Bags with Quick, it says Quick Tie Bags, 
There's four in each, but they're 30 gallons, and they're the, they're the Febreze. So I went ahead and picked up two. It says they're strong. I haven't tried these before. Um, so we'll see how well they hold up to hold on a, a bunch of stuff. I need to take the time to have a rummage or something. But I don't know that I will. My husband picked up some more shirts. He's got a little bit of collection going on and that is awesome. He needed work shirts too and he usually likes the ones with the pockets and you can't hardly find them at the Dollar Tree. You can't find them at Walmart for a decent price either. So he picked up one, two, three, four of them. So I'm sure that's all that was there in his size, otherwise he probably would have got more because you just cannot beat that. And he goes through shirts like crazy. He is a welder, um, and so they get the little holes in them, but it's also dirty and grimy. Yeah. So the shirts doesn't last long. This shirt that he picked up is an extra large in black, but there's no pocket in it. He just picked it up for his um, things that he does with the Cricut thing. And this one is a large black. Good gravy. Here's another large black. The jackpot on shirts. And this one is an extra large black. So he got a couple sets of those. I went ahead and picked him up two more packs of the black hangers to hang his shirts up. So he can separate them instead of having them on a shelf and flipping through them trying to find sizes and colors. Just hang them all up by sizes. Ta-da! Problem solved! That way he can find stuff easier and not have to hunt for it. And then he also has to hang them up after he's done them for a certain amount of time too. So, move on to this. Oh, this is what the grandkids are going to be waiting on. I picked up some Hot Wheels and I don't usually because we literally have like a ton of Hot Wheels. A ton. Some of them are very, very old. I'm sure they'll be worth money someday. But you know, for my grandson's grandson, you know. Anyways. The girls need some too, so I picked up this pink hot rod. I don't know if it tells you what they are. Indy 500 Oval. I have no idea what that means. And then this one that says 70 Volkswagen Baja Bug. This one was cute. <laughs> Doesn't have to be for for the girls, but I'm just you know saying. Do I want to pick up one of these? No. Okay. I picked up Bath Bomb from Crayola. It's the blue, yellow, green color twist. And it's blueberry blast scent. And color your bath. So, I don't know. I'll probably put it in, in the gift closet maybe gift it. I used that charcoal bath bomb the other day in my foot tub, foot soak, and it spun the whole time. It was awesome. It was awesome. I was like, well, this is so cool, but I wouldn't have wanted to put it in my bathtub because it did make my toes and stuff black. I mean, it rinsed right off, but you would have to rinse out your tub. I can't imagine what your tub would look like after that. Anyways, um, Minnie Mouse Color Twist Bath Bomb. It says cotton candy scented and there's a hidden collar on the inside. So this will probably go in a gift closet too. And actually I need to put the hammer down 
on the gifts because um, my grandchildren are all born in August and September. That's just like crazy. But yeah, and not very far apart from each other. Like, let's see. August 1st, August 16th. Yeah. September. Oh my gosh. September 24th. September 23rd. September. Oh my lord. Don't get mad at me, Ashley. It's because I just got off of work and I'm not thinking. Um, oh my god. There's just so many birthdays in September. My brother's birthday's in September. My daughter's birthday's in September. My grandson's birthday's in September. And two of my granddaughter's birthdays are in September. So there's like so many. There's like September 20th, September 21st, September 23rd, September 24th, September 28th. There you go. There it is. There's my 28th. 24th, 28th. Anyways, they're all there. Um, let's see. Ooh, I got... This might be for me. I don't know. I might share it with them. The Justice League Wonder Woman. Where do you see? I just thought that was pretty good. And I don't know why that I got these. I don't know. But off the monsters. I got Sully. And I got Mike. And I got Randall. Actually, what I thought is that would just be like a nice themed birthday party. You put it on top. Little things you put on top of your cake, too. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. But I got five of these, and I haven't seen these before. It says Puppy Friends Club Dog House. Eight puppies, eight dogs, eight houses. Adopt them all. So hopefully I've got different ones. If you can see on the back all the different ones that you could possibly get. And this is definitely something new and it's something that the my granddaughters are gonna love. So oh, I should have did this with the bath bombs. Um, i seen these, Elsa and Anna, I'm pretty sure that's their names for Frozen, and one is berry scented and one is con cotton candy scented, 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 and these are soap flakes to put in the tub. Now, I don't know, it's, it just says, a winter wonderland in your tub, scented soap flakes dissolve in the water. But it doesn't say if it turns your water colors. That's what I have to find out. And then I picked up a couple of these. These say they glow. Foam putty. From Mad Lab. Picked up blue and pink. And I think... I think there was a yellow there too, but there wasn't a green, so I just went ahead and got the blue and the pink. But anyways, I think that's going to be it for this haul. I'm getting kind of tired. Um, I hope everybody um, is having a good day, and I thank you if you stuck around and watched the whole video and watched me stumble through some stuff and things like that. <laughs> so... Um, we've had some rain lately, which is good. Um, we kind of needed it. It was so hot and blistery for such a long time that we kind of needed a little bit of relief. And, you know, plus the, the garden and the fields needed it too. So, anyways, I hope everybody is, um, staying safe. 
and taking care of themselves. Um, if you would, um, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell and I'll tell you whenever I upload a video. I've got another um, one or two more of a Dollar Tree haul to do. Uh, actually, I think I have something else over there too to haul. I forgot about that. I should have put that on this one. Dang it. I might have to um, do another one later on today after I get some sleep. So anyways, I hope everybody is taking care of themselves and be safe and I will catch you guys later.